anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to create that little top, um, the top little part here, what I did for my, uh, I guess, my my name on top. So to do that, it's very simple. Go to the polygonal lasso tool, and I'm going to click here, just, you know, not too, not too, uh, not too far or too, too uh, up here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but you just kind of want it something like this. Okay, and hold shift so it's not you know so it's not crooked, and hold shift so it's a straight line, and I'm just gonna click about here. Okay, uh, right here, and then I'm gonna hold shift once again, and I'm just gonna click right here. Now you could go down, you could go up, however you want, but I'm just hold shift and I'm gonna click right there and hold shift again, hold shift one more time. Uh, and then you can just right here where you see the little circle next to the tool, the polygonal lasso tool, that means it's gonna you're gonna close the path. So now you should have this right here. And we're only doing half because we can we can just make a copy and flip it to the other side to mirror our uh, little bar here. So now we're gonna right click and we're going to go to uh, we're gonna have to fill it with a color. So we're gonna go here to our foreground color, click on that, and it's gonna bring up the color picker window. We're gonna go ahead and sample a color. Uh, I prefer to choose a, a a color that's black because everything in the background is grayed out. It's black and white, and our logo is orange. So that's the only thing that we want to be colored, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just you know select uh, like this black right here that uh, Franklin has on his jacket. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and Delete. Make sure that you're not on a text a layer. So I'm going to create a new layer. So good thing I reminded myself. <laughs> I'm going to drag this out of our text group because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to name this bar. Now we can hold down Alt or Option and press Delete. So now you have this right here. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so now once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to hold down Alter Option and just click and drag like this. And it's going to make a copy of our bar. Now we're going to press Command T or Control T, right click and go over to Flip Horizontal. And now it's going to be on this side. So we can go ahead and move this right here into the middle. Press Enter, Command Enter, or just double click. And we don't need this, uh, this little guide here anymore. You can just click and drag to the side here to remove it. And now we should have this right here. We're not done though. We have to add some effects to this. So, um, what we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to add a drop shadow. So, we're going to do the same thing for text. So, we should have done that first, <laughs> but let's go over to text. We can just double click on our on our group uh, here, and we're going to go over to drop shadow. So, it's going to affect both. Click on drop shadow, and then decrease the opacity to about 30%. The distance should be at 4, spread is 0% size four pixels Let's keep everything the same now once we've done that we're going to right click on our group on our text uh, group click copy layer style and go to our logo and we're, going to do, we're going to do the same thing so right click paste layer style so it should now have a uh, shadow but what i want to do instead is i want to keep this at 90 percent so it's you know it's, it's a perfect shadow uh and i'll click ok so i'm gonna do the same thing for the text here so Okay, it's good. It's the same thing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing again because we didn't copy it before. Now we're gonna go back to our bar and we're gonna right click, paste. So you can see there's a shadow. And uh, do the same thing for the other side, uh, the right side, and click paste layer style. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hold command and click both of your bars and then press command G to group them together. So I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name these bars. Uh, let's name these bars, uh, name, I guess. I don't know. So we can just click these little arrows to make this smaller. So this is what we have so far. Looks pretty good. Um, so again, you could always change this up. You could, you know, have your own little design, I guess, your own little shape. Uh, but if you don't like it or if you don't want the bars, you know, you can just skip this whole step. But I think it looks nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create our, um, our little, Bar, the bottom bar right here. So very simple. We don't need our rulers, by the way. So I'll just you know, hide that. We're going to go over to the rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to need our guides back. So command colon. And we're going to click about here. So like this should be good. Eh, a little bit smaller. We don't want that to hit our, our logo here. So let's do something like this. Cool. And we're going to create a new layer as well. 
we're gonna name this bottom light bar and we're gonna fill this with a lighter color so I'm gonna select this little gray here and I'll click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and hit alt or option delete and actually you know what I should do I should just fill this with white like that. Just press X to switch between your foreground and background colors. Now we're going to go ahead and decrease the opacity so you could see um, through it. So uh, something around 15% should be fine. 15% looks good. So like that. So it gives it a more um, a better look to it. So cool. Now we're going to uh, you know put that right here beneath our bars. Um, so let's see how we look under the texture. Yeah, we want to put that under our texture so it gives it that cool feel. Now we're going to go ahead and fade this. So to do that, very simple. Go over to your eraser tool, press E on your keyboard, make the size smaller by pressing your left and right bracket keys, and then simply make sure you're on your bottom light bar and simply just kind of go like this. All right. So I'm kind of going at an angle. All right. So it should look something like that. Um. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see. Like something like like that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to explain, but you get the point. You kind of want to fade it downwards like that. Um, all right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's see, like that. All right, that looks good. 